Hi, this video is going to help you get an idea of what each of your unit checklists are going to be like. So instead of turning in work every single day the way we would in a classroom, I would come around, I'd check your video, I'd check your homework. What we're going to do is we're going to be creating this virtual folder, this virtual binder, where you're going to hold all of your work for the entire unit. This is my geometry checklist, but it doesn't matter whether it's geometry or algebra 2 trig, the same thing is going to be true. So if we look here, our first column is what assignment you have. So I've already gone through and I've listed everything that you should have done throughout the unit. I've put it in this checklist for you. So you can kind of check off as you go. Did I do this? Yes, yes, yes. So the on day one, you had a live problem solving question that we did together. The second column was the date that it was assigned, and the third column was what day did you complete it? So for lives, it was did you come to our live or you did not? Sometimes I give you some notes to follow along. And let's say you did come to our live session, you took notes, you're going to go ahead and click that box saying, yep, I did it. But now I need to know that you did it, and this is going to be proof for yourself that you completed it. So in column E here, in the yellow one, what you're going to do is you are going to link or insert your image. This is where you want to make sure that you are paying attention to help to properly put the images in. So I have a test image from the algebra review that I'm going to insert here. So the first thing we're going to do is how to insert the image. We're going to go to the top of our checklist. We're going to hit insert. We are going to insert an image. Now it's really important when you go down to insert the image, there are two options. There's image in the cell or over the cell. We are not going to use in the cell. In the cell is not going to get you credit because if it's in the cell, I can't see what the picture is. So what you're going to choose is image over the cell. So I go ahead and choose that. It's going to ask me, where am I going to get that image from? So wherever you have your image stored, I have mine in my Google Drive for our next option. And so it goes to my Google Drive. Here is my test image. I click on that and then it says insert. And when it inserts my image, it takes a second, it does make it really big. So what you want to do is you want to take that image and you're going to size it down. Now it's okay that it's this tiny because the fact that it's over the cell, when you share your document with me, I'm going to be able to just click on that and make it larger and I can see a perfect picture of what you completed. <clears throat> Our next one we have is a video. Again, you're going to be linking an image or inserting an image of that video, of the notes you took on that video. Do not insert the link to the video. The video is what I made most of the time. So in your packet, there's a note sheet. It's the notes that you took on that note sheet that went along with that video. If you are writing on a separate sheet of paper, make sure that you are drawing all of the diagrams, all of the pictures, the images, and the original problems. You gotta show all of the work that would have been on the worksheet on that separate sheet of paper. So the first one, we showed how to link over the cell, so all of your pictures are directly in here. The second option is to put a link to your image. Now, if you're going to put a link to the image, the image does need to be in your Google Drive. So you go over to your Google Drive. This one tends to have a little bit more you got to remember. So I go down, where's my test question? Oh, here's my test picture, okay? So when I find my test picture, whatever picture you're going to be inserting, you are going to right click. Now on the Chromebooks, there's a couple different ways to right click. It's, I think it's, I believe it's hit alt, hold alt and click it or two finger, finger double click. Either way, you get to this menu and you are going to choose get shareable link. However, there is one really important step is yours. I've already changed this, but it defaults to restricted. So most likely if the first image that you did, it says restricted right here. You cannot choose restricted because then I can't open the image that you linked. So you want to change it from restricted to anyone with the link 
Then you hit copy link. The link was copied. I go back to my checklist, control V, and I insert that link right into there. So it's completely up to you of which way you prefer. Do you want to embed your picture over the cell, not in the cell, or if you want to link the image. But again, if you link the image, you have to change it from restricted to anybody with the link. So every single one of these, if you have completed all of your work, should have an image for each column because this is breaking down what you should do for each day. Now at the bottom of your checklist, you should see that there are two tabs. The first tab creates this virtual binder where it puts all of your work together in one spot. The second one is your rubric. This is how you are going to decide how to assign yourself a grade because you're going to be giving yourself your own learner grade. Of course, I'm going to go back and I'm going to double check. So the first category is completion of videos. Did you watch every single video that I assigned you? You did? Yay! Four. I'm going to give whether I got a, a four, a three, a two, a one in this right column. The second one is not only just you watch the videos, but what were your video habits? So to get a four, you had to actively watch and take notes on the video. I think one of the most important parts here is that you had the sound on. If you're not listening to the video, you are really missing really important information. So in order to get a four, you have to watch the videos with the sound on and actively taking notes. If not, maybe you actively took notes, but you didn't have the sound on. So you only get a three for that one. Am I ever going to know if you had the sound on or not? No. This is about academic honesty and giving yourself the grade that you deserve. So you've got to make that decision for yourself. The next category is practice problem completion. Did you complete all of them? Did you check all of your answers? If you got something wrong, did you figure out what you got wrong? Did you reach out to me? Maybe you completed most of them and checked them. Completed some of them, checked some answers, but you just copied them. So maybe you didn't do so well with your practice problems. You gave yourself a two. Live meetings communication. So did you attend our live muni meetings and communicate with me? Again, this is your learner grade. Are you staying up with the material that you should be doing? Maybe you came to every single one of your live meetings. Boom, you gave yourself a four academic honesty. So you took responsibility for your own work. You can definitely work together with your friends, 100%, but there's a difference between working together and copying. I give you all of the answers to everything, so maybe you just copy down what I gave you. You've got to assign yourself a grade. I know you guys are all super duper honest, so I'm going to give myself a four. So here I earned a 17 out of 20 for my unit learner grade. At the bottom here, you are going to add in a couple sentences about either bragging about how well you did. There's always some positive that we can say, and there's always maybe something that we can work on. So maybe what can you work on for the next unit? Maybe you did all of your homework, but you didn't always check your answers, or you checked your answers, but you didn't really take the time to figure out what you did wrong. There's always something that we did really well and something that maybe we could improve on. All right, well, I hope that this video helped you kind of understand our unit checklist a little bit better and let you know how to insert those images. Thank you so much.